What's up guys, in this episode of That Bison, I'm going to be telling you if USB to VGA is bad or not. So as many of you might know, um, I just got another monitor for my setup and uh, I couldn't get, uh, I don't have, I, I have an all-in-one right now. And I don't have a external video uh, adapt or an external video plug, so I couldn't have an external HDMI or VGA or DVI, whatever. Uh, so I had to get an external device that's by StarTech.com, and I'm not advertising or anything, but it is um, that's what it's called basically, and it's essentially a USB to VGA device. So I'm going to be telling you if you're considering a device like this, or if you're considering getting a new graphics card. Um, if you should get the new graphics card or you should get the device like this. But this is for people who I'm targeting right now. is for people who are absolutely certain that they want to get a new graphics card or absolutely certain that they want to get a device, but they kind of don't know which one's better or which one's better for them. So this, is go this isn't going to be a review on the specific device itself. That is another episode. Um, but I can only judge my experience with this specific product. So there's a downside to having this unit, just because of the price, the refresh rate isn't the greatest. You are unable to r run larger videos on it without getting, sometimes you see, without seeing that this portion of the video refreshes faster than this portion of the video. That is kind of annoying, but um, if you're having a Skype call on the other monitor, um, it is actually um, not really noticeable just because you don't really care about that. I don't at least. Now that isn't the reason why I got the second monitor, that reason was because I wanted to put hangouts on that end, and when I'm writing a script I can have the script on one monitor and the, um, the article or something about that on the other monitor. And that's it, plain and simple. If you want to watch large videos on it without seeing the refresh lines, then get the graphics card. But if you don't really mind that, and you're using it for web surfing, email, productivity, um, tweet deck. Uh, then this device will be okay for you or try investing in a more expensive USB to VGA or HDMI or DVI or if you're like me and you cannot get another graphics card or you don't really want to or you don't have the option to have another port out then you have to get this device alright guys that's it for this video if you liked it make sure you click the like button down below it helps out a lot and if you didn't like the video make sure you com tell me why in the comments down below and check out my podcast with me and Robert Foley I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.